If you own one of these cars, you're likely going to have this problem, and so here's how easy it is to fix the problem. You will need air tools. That mass of powdered metal and corrosion, I think used to be magnesium. It used to be that part actually. Hard to believe in just five years. So, you can see more of it under there. I've removed the strut that went there, and there's still little bits of that part left up there. All the top strut mount plates corrode off on these cars by electrolysis. I'll now show you how to remove the strut and put it all back together and you don't even, don't even need a strut compression tool. And it doesn't even blow up or fly apart when you're taking it apart. So remove your wheel. Now remove the little 10 millimeter bolt that holds on your brake flex line. Then remove the 15 millimeter bolt that holds the bottom of your strut to the spindle. Now that that bolt is unthreaded, there'll be some tension pushing down so you can't pull the bolt out by hand. So just get a pry bar, stick it in there, pry downwards. It bends a little water deflection cover, but you can just put that back on and bend it up straight afterwards. So push down and then you can just pull the bolt out. That only took about five seconds. Now the top, if it's all corroded like the other side, well it'll just fall out. You don't have to unbolt anything. On this side, well, I'll see if it'll unbolt. But if it doesn't, it's easy enough just to break off. Now open your trunk and see if you can get those bolts out. Simple as that. Done. Now the strut, the strut just drops down. You just pull it out by your hands. Even if the top is all corroded off, nothing blows up and flies apart, so there's no danger. Now I'll put some lube on the shaft. Mmm. Now get your big strong tool and get that thing off. Little spurts or else the whole shaft will spin. Don't worry, it's not going to blow. See? Totally safe. Now just kick it apart. Sure got that off no problem. So now for the new kit. Put the flat washer on first. Put this rubber washer on next with that little ridge facing up. Put this plate on next, lining up the groove for the spring. Put this thing on next with the comb part facing downwards and then push the metal tube through as far as you can. Put the curved washer on next and now you'll need two people. One person is going to have to hold this straight up and push down with all their weight so the shaft comes through the hole just a little bit and just start the nut with your fingers. Then you're done. Whip the rest on with your big tool. sockets on so it'd be easier to push so it didn't hurt my hands pushing on those bolts. Now we put the rest on with the air. Hold that. Many pounds in that thing. You must have 200 pounds. The big tool always can get the job done now. Do it in little spurts. That's it, it can't come no more. Next. Now you have to put it inside there. Oh, that's easy. It's easy? Yeah, but we're going to put the other one together first. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm just going to slip it back into the space. To put the strut back in to get the bottom bolt in, 
I just got another long pry bar put it on this lower suspension put the other end on a body part push down with my foot reach my other hand and shove the bolt back in the hole now just tighten all the bolts and you're done that's it each side should take you less than a half hour now time for a test drive Seventy four, six hundred eighty two kilometers. Drives like new. A little bit of squeaking from the rear right, kind of like rubber on chrome, like that chrome shaft in the shock. Maybe I'll have to give it a little squirt of oil. Home sweet home, another dollar, another beer. Damn, it's expensive. Yeah, you can really hear the squeaking now. Huh, might have a dry ball joint or something, or a control arm bushing. We'll have to jack it up again and maybe give her a squirt of lube. The squeak is fixed now. <clears throat> it did have a ball joint on the upper control arm just above the spindle. So I'll show you what I did, another redneck repair technique. Imagine this is a ball joint. It's got a rubber boot on it like they all do. You just get a sharp little screwdriver, jab a hole. You know that's supposedly bad news but if it's squeaking that means it already is getting water in there it's already so move your little tool you have a choice squirt oil in there or stick this little nozzle in there and squirt chain lube like so fill it all up and if you wait a few minutes it percolates all around inside there and your vehicle is fixed. This is really common on the front end of Hondas and a few other cars and Fords. Yeah, all you gotta do is turn the wheel sideways if you're working on one of those cars. Jab your little hole. Once you identify which joint is squeaking, squirt your oil in. Turn the wheel back and forth a few times or go for a ride. And it's fixed for several months. Customers just love it. A $5 repair saves them a ball joint. Uh, it also extends the life of your joints because water is getting in there and causing rust and that squeaking sound. Eventually you can change it when you get around to it and have enough money left over for beer.